the bell icon to turn on notifications. Let's start out by familiarizing ourselves with the SharePoint interface. And we're going to learn how to navigate and also learn some of the keywords to identify different elements. And it is super important that you become comfortable navigating around your SharePoint site. Now, once again, I'm using the online version of SharePoint. And when you first jump into SharePoint, maybe from your Microsoft 365 home screen, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Now, currently, I'm not actually in my SharePoint site. This is kind of a hub where I can see an overview of all of my sites or any sites that I'm following, so sites that I'm interested in. And you can see on the left hand side, I'm following the site that we're going to be using right at the top here, just to make it easy to access. And then underneath, I have some recent sites that I've also accessed. Now we're going to come back to this screen many times throughout this training course. So let's just very quickly dive into the site that we're going to be using, because this is the page that I want you to get familiar with. Now running across the top, we have SharePoint, and then we have a search this site area at the top. And again, we're going to look at this more when we take a look at searching for different documents and things within SharePoint. But that's basically a universal search that's going to help you find your content. Over on the right hand side of this top bar, we have a little cog icon, which is where you'll find all of your settings for your site, a help icon. And then we have my little profile photo up there. Underneath that, we have the site header. And this site header in general contains the title of your site, so whatever you've chosen to name it, in this case, SharePoint Online Training. And it also contains a logo if you've uploaded one. And you can see there I've created a very quick, very basic little logo. I just did it in PowerPoint and uploaded it to the site. I can see that this is a public site. And when you create a site, you can choose to create a private site that just certain people have access to or a public site that everyone in your organization can access. And then all the way over on the right hand side, I can see that I am following this site. So any updates I'm going to be able to see. And I can also see that this site has three members. Now, all the way over on the left hand side, I have some icons. And again, this just helps me to navigate. So if I want to go back to the SharePoint start page, I can click the little home icon and it's going to take me back to that kind of main hub where I can dive in and dive out of various different sites. Underneath, I have a My Sites icon, and this is going to show all of the sites that I've created. I have a My News area, and we're going to talk a lot about news later on in this course. But you can see here I've actually posted a news article, so I can see that listed underneath My News. And then finally, we have a My Files area. So these are generally files that I've uploaded or shared within my SharePoint site. Now, in addition to these little icons, we have the quick launch bar, which is very much related to just this SharePoint site. Now, your quick launch menu bar is probably not going to look exactly the same as mine. I've added a few things into here, so you're not going to see any of this section down here where it says global teach contacts, tasks, issues and calendar, but you should have everything else. And this quick launch bar can be customized. You can see that we have an edit button at the bottom so you can add links to different things within your SharePoint site to this menu to make it super easy to access them. And this quick launch bar is really where you go to access the different parts of your SharePoint site. And what you'll start to notice is that Things within SharePoint are very much integrated with other applications within Microsoft 365. So for example, if I click conversations, you'll see that this is going to essentially jump me across to Outlook. Because when I created this SharePoint site, it also created a group for this site within Outlook. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see here under groups, there is the name of my SharePoint site, SharePoint Online Training. We've got the three members and I can now do things like send emails. I can start conversations from within Outlook, which are going to update in SharePoint as well. You'll see also there is some integration with Microsoft Teams here as well. And then we have things like documents, notebook, which allows us to create a shared OneNote notebook for all of our notes related to this particular project. 
we can access our pages. And then at the bottom, underneath all of these global teach lists, we have a site contents button. If I just click on site contents, this is basically where you can find everything related to your site. So every time you create a list, you'll find it in here. You can find your documents in here as well, all of your site assets and site pages. So if you're ever struggling to find something in SharePoint, then site contents is a great place to go. Now we're going to delve more into these different parts of a SharePoint site as we go through the course. But for the time being, let's just focus a little bit more on some of the navigational elements that we have on this page. So we've seen our little menu of icons on the left hand side. We've seen our quick launch bar, which we can edit using the link at the bottom. We also have another little menu running across the top. And the first item that we have here is the new button. So if you want to create a new list, a new document library, maybe a new page, or if you want to create a news post or a news link, or even some kind of plan, then you can jump into this new button. It's a really quick way of doing that. And of course, we're going to be using this button throughout this course. We then have a page details button, which is just going to give us a little bit more information about the page that we're currently clicked on and also an analytics button. So you can see some data related to that page, such as things like page viewers, page views, average time spent, things like that. So if that's of interest to you, then it's extremely easy to access. You can also see over on the right hand side, I have a date here of when this page was last published and then we have an edit link. So of course, everything on this home page can be edited. So maybe you don't like the layout. Maybe you want to display your document library at the top here. So it's the first thing people see as opposed to news. You can change all of that, including the look and feel of your entire site. And right in the middle here, of course, this is the main body of the page. And this page contains numerous different web parts. And this page is going to change depending on what it is you're doing and where you're clicked. So currently I'm clicked on home. So I'm seeing all of these different web parts for news, quick links, activities. I've got my document library there. But if I was to select something else from the quick launch menu on the left hand side, so let's say documents, you can see now I'm just seeing the documents that have been uploaded or shared within my SharePoint site. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is that when you go into a different part of your SharePoint site, so I'm in documents right now, the menu bar running across the top is going to change. It's very much contextual to what you're currently clicked on. So because I'm clicked in documents, and I'm looking at my document library. If I select the new drop down, it now allows me to create a new folder or a different style of document, maybe a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever I like. I can upload files directly from my PC to this document library. I can edit in grid view. I can export all the details out to Excel, so on and so forth. So the main point I'm trying to make here is that that menu bar at the top is going to change depending on where you're clicked in your SharePoint site. And all the options that you get in that menu are going to be very much related to the part of the site that you're clicked in. Makes logical sense to me. Now, of course, if you ever just want to jump back to the home page of your site, you can click on the home link in the quick launch menu bar, and that's going to take you back to home. And if you want to jump into a completely different site, remember, if you go to the icons that we have all the way over on the left hand side, you can jump back to the SharePoint start page and dive in to a completely different site. So that is a quick run through of the basic navigation in a SharePoint site. I would say that if you're used to working with websites, this probably isn't going to be rocket science to you, but it's good to have an understanding as it is the foundation of everything that we're going to do. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.